The days are surely coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant that I made with their ancestors when I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, a covenant that they broke, though I was their husband, says the Lord. But this covenant is that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will put my law within them. I will write it on their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. No longer shall they teach one another or say to one another, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me. From the least of them to the greatest, says the Lord, for I will forgive their iniquity and remember their sin no more. Our carol is number 114, Gentle Mary Laid Her Child. Will you stand as we sing this? Again the Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask a sign of the Lord your God. Let it be deep as Sheol or high as heaven. But Ahaz said, I will not ask, and I will not put the Lord to the test. Then Isaiah said, Hear then, O house of David, is it too little for you to weary mortals, that you weary my God also? Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Look, the young woman is with child, and and she shall bear a son, and she shall name him Emmanuel. He shall eat curds and honey by the time he knows how to refuse the evil and choose good.
cherubim and seraphim throng the air. Only his mother in her maiden bliss worshipped the In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over all the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now, your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren, for nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her.
Now the birth of Jesus, the Messiah, took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they had lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord, the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you will name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken to the Lord, uh, by the Lord through the prophet. Look, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph awoke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took her as his wife, but had no marital relations with her until she had borne a son. And he named him Jesus. Carol number 138 in your hymnal, How Far Is It to Bethlehem?
In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star as it is rising, and have come to pay homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all of Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, And Judah are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for from you shall come a ruler who is to be shepherd of my people. Then Herod secretly called the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word so that I may go and pay him homage." When, he had heard the ki- when they had heard the king, they set out, and there, ahead of them, went the star that they had seen in its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then opening their treasures... They offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road.
In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all people. To you is born this day in the city of David, one who is a Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and peace on earth to men whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child laying in a manger. When they saw this, they made known that what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said. But Mary treasured all the words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen, as had been told them. Father Joseph Moore was the pastor at the St. Nicholas Church located near Strasbourg, Austria. The organ had gone out in the church, and it was getting close to Christmas Eve. They couldn't have it fixed until after Christmas. So he was walking home in, in, like it is now, the cold weather, and the snow was on the ground, and he was inspired to write the words to Silent Night. When he got back to the church, he talked with Joseph Moore, who was the um, organist of the church. He took those words home, wrote the music, and that night on Christmas Eve, even without the organ, they took the guitar and Joseph Moore sang those words, and you're going to hear those as they were sung now. Stille Nacht, die heilige Nacht, alle schlacht, einsam Yeah. 